Hey guys, how are you? I just got back from my very first day of high school, and if you're interested, which you're probably not, the vlog that I promised that I would make has been made, and I will upload it really soon. Anyways, let, let's get on with the news. Daniel Radcliffe will start working on horns late September in Vancouver, and on September 27th, the release date of, like, on the release date of her new book, Dick Rowling will be interviewed by Jennifer Bryan in Australia during a primetime special thing. More information will be in the description bar below. And the Harry Potter exhibition is returning to New York City Discovery Times Square Museum. Whew. Um, <clears throat> during the holidays, no more information has been given out, given out, but what has been um, given out is going to be in the description bar below. Um, and a film clip from... The Perks of Being a Wallflower, as well as an interview, have been released. Rupert Grant's new movie, Into the White, will be shown in at the Oldenburg's Film Festival in Germany. It'll be shown on September 15th, and if you're interested in watching, you can buy tickets starting September 3rd. And an audio of Matthew Lewis's BBC's One-on-One -on -One is now avail available. He talks about all kinds of interesting things about himself. So if you're as much of a Matt Lewis fan as I am, you should give it a look. And Matthew Lewis's new movie, Wasteland, will be premiering at the Toronto Film Festival next month. More information featuring dates and locations will be in the link below. Because it's going to be like three days, I think. <clears throat> and this week's theme will be the whole Philosopher's slash Sorcerer's Stone argument. Like, how do you feel about... um? the names being changed and um, like in the American version and the British version well you know what I mean okay I'm just an idiot so give us your opinion we'd like to hear that and I want to give a shout out to my friend Brooklyn because well I love her and having no classes with her whatsoever this year makes me realize how much I miss her because even though I see her outside of school I've never like never Last year, we used to have at least recess and lunch together. This year, we have absolutely nothing together. And, oh my god, I miss her. Like, oh, Brooklyn. Um, so, yeah. And she's so fun to talk to, and she's an awesome Potterhead. And plus, she was supposed to be in a Spread the Magic episode that I never, like, I wasn't able to put up because the footage we made was really bad and I still feel really bad about that and um yeah so shout out to her I love you and um and lately like well yeah this week's character is going to be Ron because He's such an amazing best friend, and lately I've been noticing the importance, uh, importance of a best friend in someone's life. Well, I just, um, I just told you guys about Brooklyn, so I think that's easy for you guys to tell. But, yeah, I'm lucky to say I have quite a few best friends myself, and considering I don't have much in common with many of the kids in my school... Um, having my best friends around me makes me realize that I'm still awesome in my own way, and... They're my only friends, really, and considering there's not very much hope for me to make friends with any of my classmates, because I don't have much in common with them, and, you know, we're just in completely different worlds, I kind of need my best friends around me, and my need of my best friends has gotten me to think of Harry's need as well. I mean, come on. I don't think he'd be able to manage what he was going through without Ron next to him. Yes, they've had their fights and disagreements, but at the end of the day, you need someone to rely on, and that was a gift that not very very many others could give to Harry. So I'd like to see your opinion on Ron Weasley, and make sure to give us that, and it's been too nice to talking to you guys. Sorry I can't pronounce things. That happens when I'm nervous, and... I just had my first day of high school, so, yeah, nerve-wrecking, crazy. So, see you on Friday, and goodbye!